So hi guys, welcome to today's video. Um, I am going out very soon, it's just about five past nine. Um, one of the um, requests that was made on one of my question and answers uh, videos was about doing what's in my changing bag. So as soon as I'm going out now, and I'm going out and I'll be out for lunch, um, you know, a good few hours, I've decided now is the perfect time to get that video done. Um, so half of it's just like thrown at the back here, um, but there are some stuff inside my bag that's obviously generic. Um, so this is my bag. It's a pink lining bag. I don't know which one. I had it from uh, TK Maxx and looking on their website, they don't do this one anymore. Um, this one does come with buggy straps. I don't think the others do. Uh, and these straps as well can come off. So if you didn't want any straps on at all um, and you just wanted it on your buggy, you can. Um, this bag is amazing. I think I paid about 40, 45 pound for it. I think it was four. 40 39.99 um this is my third changing bag i did have a skip hop bag um that i bought really for the design thinking oh that's not very mommy ish that's quite sleek i like that but actually there's a slight tear in the lining in the center of it which i didn't think was very good after six months and plus i found that like people like my mom couldn't find anything in the bag because it was like a big deep bag then i bought a pack of pod because I had this mad urge to buy one for Christmas. Because um, I liked the novelty. But actually I don't think they're that practical. Um, it's very bulky. Um, so I may sell it. I've only used it like a handful of times. And I paid £75 for it. So I might look at selling it. I don't know. Um, who knows. But yeah, like I said, I bought this one. And it's great because of the design of it. It sits just like that on my buggy. And when you open it up you can find everything. I'm not going to show you the insides because um, obviously I film on my phone and it's really difficult. Um, I mean I can try and lift it for you. So that is the inside. Uh, I'll talk you through the pockets. So we have a little zip pocket inside here and all that's in this is a couple of little nifty things really. Uh, we've got two little uh, nappy protection creams uh, they're two little tiny papanthums I normally carry travel size creams in here uh, so just two little papanthums and then a little Suda cream as well and as you can see it's it has been used but this you can use it for all sorts so it's pretty good uh, a spare dummy uh, in case she loses the one that she's got I do use dummy clips but um, I can't be bothered to carry a new clip today although I probably will should put one in in case she loses the clip but spare demi with a case on all sterilized and then uh, a little tiny teether that she likes it's like sand in my bag I'd have to wipe this or is it I know it's food it's a bit of food hang on there's a wipe here she's not long had breakfast um tiny little teether that she loves uh basically she loves it because it's easy to hold um, and it's black, it's a very bold colour, and it's a gummy gem key. Uh, I bought her a bubba bag that had got like little tiny teethers in, so it's got like a purse, a credit card, a phone, and some keys, but she loves the keys, because this bit, she can really get in, so that's in there, and that's just in that little zip-up pocket. And then you've got what's meant to be a phone pocket, but I don't use it, and then like another little pocket, but I don't know what it's for, but I've got a spare spoon in, just in case. And then you've got two bigger elasticated pockets. So obviously nappies and wipes. So we've got four nappies. One, two, three, four. These are size three pampers. Uh, in all honesty, I don't rate pampers. Uh, I think that they smell when they're like just even a little bit wet. Um, and I'm quite a laid back mommy. I don't change nappies every five minutes anymore. Obviously when she was a newborn we did. Um, but I tend to change them every four, change her bum every four hours now, unless she's poopied. So, you know, four to five is what I normally carry. Plus, there are some in my car, uh, normally, anyway. And then, I've got some wipes. Again, inside here, because I, I don't like Huggies wipes, they're Aldi wipes. Um, Aldi, on the baby events, do a pack of travel size ones there are 24 in a pack there are about two packs in there so 
Um, and when you buy the Huggies packs that fit this, there's about 14 anyway. So I like that. Um, as always, Skip Hop comes with a changing mat, and this is what it looks like. I do actually rate this changing mat. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's quite thick, it's wipeable. The others that I had, even though they're like meant to be wipeable, they're not like this, they're not plastic. They're like more of a material and they're really thin, which I think is very poor really. There's like sand in my bag. We went to an air show at Western, so that's why there's sand in my bag. Uh, there's also in here a little mirror. I don't know why. Oh, you can actually take it out. Uh, might take it out. I know it's the point of it. Um, and then I always carry the red book, um, you know, just in case she goes, you know, there's an emergency or something or I need to ring somebody. Yeah. but If I didn't carry it, something would happen and I would wish I had it, but, you know. And then in here is also a wet bag, which I like. Life changing bags don't come with wet bags. Uh, and in here is just a little simple outfit, just in case. So I've got, get it out. We got a little vest. It's very rare that she's needed a change of clothes. I think the last time she had a change of clothes was when she was eating at my mum's and I gave her a rusk and it was everywhere and I was like, I'm a child, I'm not taking you home looking like that. You, you need clean clothes on. A uh, little pair of tiny leggings. Generally, I dress her a very old fashioned -y, I think. she's Most of the time she's in like little dresses with headbands and tights and or socks. But the occasional time she does wear like, you know, the leggings and the, a t-shirt if we're just like lounging or just going to the shops or something. But most times she's dressed very traditional. But she's got this little top on as well. That This little top has still got the tag on. Just says I'm very cute. And this top was £3.50 from Primark. Primark's clothes are actually quite good. We've had some pretty dresses from there. Uh, we've had vests. We've had sleep suits. We've had bibs. She's got the hiccups now. You got the hiccups. You got hiccups. And then she's just got a little pair of socks. And that just fits nicely in. So she does need a change for whatever reason. There's one in here. And then what I like is if she does need a change, this bag is wipeable. You can just put the dirty clothes in. Okay, and then there's a little pen holder, and then there's like these Velcro straps either side, um, and it's basically for bottles, because this bag came with two of these, uh, and they're like insulated, you can feel it, for bottles. However, she's not bottle fed, she's breast fed, but we use these to put her food in, because uh, now she's weaning, she's um, seven months at the end of this month. Uh, I use this to just literally put a bit of food in. So we'll do the food actually. So that's that bit. Um, so food wise, she's got, um, last night we cooked, uh, I cooked some gammon with some vegetables and stuff in the slow cooker and I've just blitzed up some um, into like a chopped consistency because she's on stage two and that's gammon and veg stew and then obviously I'll heat that up today. If I'm going somewhere that doesn't necessarily have a um, microwave, I will take normally a pouch, uh, whether it be a homemade pouch or you know a shop bought one. I try to give a homemade as much as possible, but uh, being a sensible mum, I know that you know you can't always do homemade stuff. Um, but I'm very particular about my pouches. I look for the contents of water in them to make sure it's not all water. Um, I normally find Ella's Kitchen, Aldi and Hip Organics are quite good. Um, but they're very expensive so if I can try and do my own I will. Uh, I have a fill and squeeze as well which is where you can make them into your own pouches. But I thought this was quite thick um, and I knew I was going somewhere today with a microwave. Um, so I've took it in a pot and then it's easier really. So she's got that. And then I always take a little pudding with me, um, and I tend to in the more in the at lunchtime give her fruit for pudding, 
Um, so I'm taking a little Ella's Kitchen Prunes. We bought these last week because, bless her, she was a bit constipated. Um, and these with, you know, some home cooked and some extra water and fruit juice went down lovely and, and it fixed the problem and tummy massage. So some prunes. And these little pouches are great. If you can get the Aldi ones that are in a box, they're fab. And then two spoons. This is a heat sensitive one, although I find that it's very sensitive. It will come up yellow as in too hot, but when you put it to your lips or even put it to your wrist, it's cold. I think it's cold. So I tend to just go on my own personal or what I think, and I've never had a problem, but I've obviously took this one today. Uh, and this tiny little one for her put put. Um, so those are in there. And this just fits all her food in perfectly. And then a little bib. A feeding bib and I just roll that up I do have some disposable ones but they're not very good I don't think they're very good and then literally close it up and that's that and it just goes down the side of my bag um, okay so that's that um, and then the other side I tend to just put my feeding shawl now I did buy when I was pregnant a feeding cover from Mother Care that's like an apron and it's it's not for me um I ended up having loads of these large like mislins and they're great you can use them as swaddles when they're little although I didn't really swaddle them much um you can use it as a sunshade you could use it as a light blanket um but I love them as nursing covers because they're very light much lighter than the nursing, the real nursing covers. Um, that's folded over. Uh, this one's a huge one, and this is a baboo one. Baboo, bamboo, bamboo. This is made out of bamboo, hundred percent bamboo. Uh, and to be honest, they were expensive. I bought two in a pack from a baby show, but they're super, super soft, uh, and they're great. This one's, like I said, this one's really large. I have some that aren't as big. But this one's extra large because now we're getting to that stage of mommy I don't want my face covered mommy I want to see what's going on and she pulls um, I'm all pro breastfeeding uh, I do personally try to cover up however there are times when she's screaming her head off and I haven't got time to faff about this so it's out I do try and be discreet um, but at the end of the day for anyone who is wanting to breastfeed or you know all you've got to remember is you have the legal right to breastfeed your child in the whole of the UK. No one can ask you to stop and no one can say anything to you about it. Um, you know, I think we need to get away from seeing boobs as these sexual objects and rather of what Mother Nature designed them for, which is to feed your young. I mean, you wouldn't stop a dog feeding its puppies through boobies, would you? So why would you stop a grown woman? Um, that's my thought. But I wouldn't say I'm, you know, that pro breastfeeding that if I see a mom bottle feeding, I'd slam her down. Absolutely not. Um, breastfeeding's not for everybody. Um, it's very, I think it's a very personal choice. Um, and I think, you know, it's up to you whether you do it or not. If you do, great. If you don't, great. It doesn't matter. Um, your children will grow up, you know, healthy anyway. It's just whether you want to, you know. I mean, personally, when I, before Lulu was born, I was going to do breastfeeding for so long. And then I was going to do combined feeding with bottles. Um, and I was going to express mainly. And what I found was, actually, you know, it's so easy not to sterilise the bottles. Not to have to travel with all bottles. Just take your boobs and a cover, your child, and you're set. It's, it's so easy. So, yeah, it's easy to breastfeed. I think so, but I've been very lucky. Okay, and then the next item we've got, I'm just going to have a slip of my tea. A spare, um, a spare little muslin. Uh, I, I used these a lot when she was first born, obviously, to burp her. Um, now I use them more for when she's, you know, wipe up mess as well. But when she's eating dinner, I cover her lap with this because we tend to have food everywhere. So that just goes in. 
Next thing is just a little sippy cup. This is a Tommy Tippy one, 99 pence or a pound. I won't pay no more than that. She has, you know, a selection of sippy cups. Um, it does leak a tiny bit as you've just seen when I've done that, but it's fine. Um, I did try and give her water in a bottle. She won't take it because um, I was a bit nervy about giving her one of these to start with in case it, you know, she choked. But actually, she doesn't drink water from a bottle. I actually find now she doesn't tend to want to take a bottle. Um, the only time she's had bottles is when she was first born. She had a little bit of formula, um, obviously when breastfeeding was quite painful and I just couldn't do it. Uh, I supplemented her for about a day as well because um, they kept telling me she wasn't gaining weight properly. And eventually I just got fed up of hearing it um, and just did my own thing. And obviously I tried to give her water in a bottle to start off with and she wouldn't accept it and the only other time she has bottles is if like I'm going out somewhere and I need my mum to look after her but generally um I found it's only when I have my hair cut so I'll just feed her before I go leave a bit of solids now and she might not need a feed oh uh, she's quite good I know we're almost done we're almost done she's getting a bit grizzly because she wants to get ready for the day so her bottle goes in um, and then we've got a spare dribble bib. While we're on the conversation, actually, uh, while I'm thinking about it, does anyone know if it is, because I was looking it up last night, she's seven months at the end of this month, like I've said, and we've got no teeth. I keep looking at the bottom, nothing. But then last night, she fell asleep on me with her mouth open, and I had a look at the top. I can see two teeth under her gun and I can feel them and I can see the outline of her teeth is it can they have their top two teeth before their bottoms because looking up on Google uh, and like mum's net and things like that some people say yes they can it's not unusual some have even said they've had their fangs first I just want to see if any of you have thought about that okay then we've got a teether I normally take a couple of small toys with me, so today we've got the Baby Einstein little radio, you just press this, it lights up, she loves lights, and it plays music, and it plays all different ones, which is quite good, and it's very loud, and then she's got these bits she can bite on. And then she's got a little rattle that's got crinkles bits to play with and bite so she's got three little toys today and then finally uh, I've been given a little bits of finger food so she's got these carrot wafers by Kidalicious she loves them they're just rice crackers she's had the blueberry one now she's going to try the carrot one today and I put that in one of these pockets that's meant to be for your phone and then she's got these, damn you Heinz, these are so nice, I was eating them. They're little Heinz chocolate biscotti biscuits, so she'll have like a couple of those just to pacify her. And that's it, that's every, oh wait, there's more in my bag, there's more. So that all zips up perfect. Now, on the front I've got a little hand sanitizer, and on the side I've got a little nappy um, thing to put my nappies in. And then on the back I've just got a little um, shopping bag. But in my mommy pocket, which is the big pocket at the front, I don't have a fat lot. I'll have my phone in there. I'm just digging deep. You know what? I've carried this around and I've never used it, so I'm going to leave it. It was a hand cream. Lip balm. Oh! Where'd you go? Silly me. Got a little lip balm. Uh, got my wallet with my cards in. Got my purse with no money in. Some tissues. And this um, by Beauty Blender Blotterazzi. It's basically instead of taking makeup, just take this and blot because I have all your skin. That's my front pocket, and then like I said, my phone will go in and my oh my car keys in. My house keys I keep in the car just because they're so bulky. Um, and then on the back, there's a tiny, tiny little pocket which we keep medicines in and picks and pieces. All right, we're nearly done. <gasps> we're nearly done so in the back we've got a thermometer some little sachets of um, sun lotion factor 50 
a couple of sachets of Nurofen, a couple of sachets of Calpop, a little syringe to measure it up in or draw it up in. We have uh, a bit of Medela lanolin. Um, so just in case my nipples do get a bit cracked, um, yeah, I could put this on. But also I've heard this is very good for when they're teething for dribble rashes. Um, then we've got some of this anim ambasol liquid, I think you pronounce it. It's just for teething gel. Apparently this is more effective than like the gels because it's a liquid it absorbs straight in. Um, I think it was about a fiver from the pharmacist. But then saying that, I do have some Bongella as well. We have a couple of teething granules. I have saline nasal drops. Um, I've not used this for a while, but, you know, it makes no difference. Um, some little brush baby dental wipes. These are good of, like, if she's sick or she's got a bit of food in her mouth. Just, it's like on, it sits on your finger and you just... Okay, hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay. Then I've got this Mustela Hydra stick. It's great for dry skin, things like that. Um, rash anywhere. I've not used it though. Then we've got a Bicky Peg. It's for teething. Yeah. And then she's got her little... Um, we take her to um, a class at the local library called Shake, Rattle and Rhyme. Um, it's just where we sing nursery rhymes to them. But every time they go, they get a stamp. And then when they've got six stamps, they get a certificate. But then when they get to the end... They get like a little teddy bear and it's just, it's to encourage, you know, going to the library. And that's it. That's everything in my bag. Um, and this is what it's now looking like filled up. So it's not overly bulky. And like I said, this sits perfect on my pram. Um, and then, you know, when somebody wants to find something, they just, that's the opening. They just unzip it and you can see everything in it. It's perfect. You know, I don't know why I spent so much money on bags when this one's just as good. Um, thank you for watching and I'll do my question and answers, I think, on the weekend. And I'll see you all soon. Bye!